गुड आफ्टरनून मैम कैन यू कैन यू हेयर मी कैन यू हेयर मी बेटा यस मैम सर ऑडिबल ओके नाउ यस्टरडे वी हैड अ क्लास रिमेंबर आर देयर एनी क्वेरीज Are there any queries? No, ma'am. Everything is clear for you all. Hmm. क्या बेटा अगर सब समझ में आ जाता है ना तो बड़ा भयानक होता है. नहीं समझ में आया तो मतलब हम कुछ कर सकते हैं. But if you all say कि सब समझ में आ गया. तो इसका मतलब आप लोग ने कुछ ध्यान ही नहीं दिया क्यों ऐसा है क्या यस I feel like that. That you all don't have any queries. Anyway, I'm supposed to teach, and I'll do my best to do it. But yes, of course, I would say that it looks like that you all are not much interested. No, ma'am. आपने जो कल ओवरव्यू दिया था हाँ वो समझ आ गया था मैम समझ में आ गया था बिकॉज यू विल हैव क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ दैट फॉर्म और मैं तो चूंकि पूरा आप लोगों को कुछ नहीं बताई हूँ बट अगर देखा जाए तो इट इज अ टोटल सिलेबस विच इज आई ट्राई टू कवर इन वन लेक्चर बिकॉज आई वॉज नॉट नोइंग कि तुम लोगों को क्या कोर्स में है क्या नहीं है बट इट वॉज रियली पैथेटिक की एक क्लास में पूरा रिसर्च हमें खत्म करना है देर इज लॉट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स इन्वॉल्व इन इट नाउ आई एम गिविंग यू आई ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ अ सॉफ्टवेयर कॉल एस पी एस एस फर्स्ट देन आई एल बी टेकिंग यू टू एक्सेल एंड ट्राई टू डू यू थिंग्स सो दैट यू नो हाउ यू ऑल कैन डू थिंग्स इन research as soon as you can see the slide please let's let me know i'm sharing the slide is the slide shared yes ma'am very good Now we will. I'll be giving you a brief introduction of SPSS. Originally, it is an acronym of Statistical Packages for Social Science. Though it is started with social science, but presently it has a very wider applicability. It is, um, you know, most of the people use SPSS for research purpose. one of the most popular statistical package which can perform highly complex data and data analysis these days spss uh, people are using r in place of spss but yes for something spss is still the best and for few thing we are switching off to r this is the opening window and as soon as you will open the package it looks like this it is an ibm you know everyone knows ibm is a company so it is a licensed product of ibm it's an expensive software there are two different kind of windows which open in spss one is data window and one is output window 
when you get a data editor window, again you can see a spreadsheet in form of data view where you can enter your data and variable view where you can rename your data or where you can rename your variables, you can define your variables, you can do any sort of thing in that. Secondly is output window, which shows the result of the analysis. You must save data editor and window. Jaisi aap output window save karoge, aapki sari cheeze save hone lagti hai. Data view contains rows and columns. It is just, as I told you, is like a spreadsheet. But the variable view is something very unique because in variable view, you can have, you can name your variable, you can define variable, you can name it, you can say what type of variable it is, whether it is a scale variable, nominal variable, ordinal variable, you can define the width, 12, 14, 18, jitna chahiye. You can define whether you want to introduce with decimal or not. You can label your data. You can even input the missing values, which is a very unique feature of SPSS. See, this is your data editor view. Now in data editor, you can see this is data variable view and this is variable view. Now this data view, you can also see the data are labeled in the first row and data is in the next. Generally, we don't directly input the data. We export a file from, we import a file from Excel. Excel file can be used by number of programs. So generally, we make the main or the header file in Excel. Now, this is the variable view. Now, in variable view, you can name your variable. You can give it whether it is a numeric or a string or a date, anything. With decimal, label, and type. So everything you can do in variable view. Now output window. As soon as you open your date, uh, uh, IBM SPSS, as I told you, the two windows in open, one will be your data window and another will be your output window. All the output is stored here. Now you can directly enter the data here. You can say type of variable, numeric or string, describe variable, click everything you do first and then you start entering. Then the unique feature of SPSS is that it has a a syntax editor. Syntax editor is very helpful because when you have to do number of operations at the same time, then you use syntax editor. And syntax editor, um, you know, is a one of the boon, or I can say that it is one of the very unique feature of SPSS. Because SPS in SPSS, commands again and again. Secondly, you know, sometimes you have a huge data. Suppose I have to run file for all the states of India and all the union territories of India. When I say all the states of India and all the union territories of India, then the, I have to run that command that many times. So if I store it in this syntax editor and once I say go to all those commands, I can sit for 10-15 minutes while my output file of 100 or 200 pages may get generated. This output file can again be exported as a word file and you can later on use it when and you want, even if you are not having SPSS in your laptop. So this is the you know beauty of syntax editor. Now these are the ways we enter the cases. Now here we import data. How you import data?
so we import uh, data from excel open data choose the excel yahan pe aapko format choose karna padta hai jaise hi aap format choose karte hain वैसे ही वैसे ही आपका वो पूछता है कि विच टाइप ऑफ शीट यू वांट टू ओपन शीट वन शीट टू शीट थ्री एज सुन एज यू गो गिव ओके द एक्सेल फाइल इज कॉपी टू योर एस पी एस एस एंड देन फ्रॉम एनालिसिस यू कैन रन एनी टाइप ऑफ एनालिसिस नाउ द मीनू पार कंटेन फ्यू वेरी कॉमन फीचर्स लाइक फाइल एवरी नो opening saving printing edit command also does the same thing view command also but the main uh, features of spss menu bar start with data as soon as you open data it gives you if you want to define data property if you want to copy properties if you want to define dates if you want to identify duplicate cases if you want to sort if you want to sort these cases transpose these cases restructure every possibility even you know very unique feature of merge file is there so this is all you can do with data then transform this allows you to transform the data set you have entered that is calculating new variable recording missing values analyzing etc now analyzing contain whole type of analyze there are ample amount of analysis which you can do in spss then another unique feature of spss is that you can clean data even after generally we enter the data in uh, excel and then we use spss to for data cleaning also we just simply run case summary case summary is one of the feature will help us in cleaning data it give us that whether there are any missing values or not whether all that data is there or not so case summary give us those things when you have big data then case summary is also very important descriptive stat frequency ye sab aisi cheeze hain jisse hum data cleaning ya data ki discrepancies pakadte hain next part is export जब हमारा आउटपुट फाइल जनरेट हो जाती है तो जनरली वी यूज दिस कमांड एक्सपोर्ट एंड एक्सपोर्ट द आउटपुट फाइल इन फॉर्म ऑफ अ वर्ड फाइल सो दैट वी कैन यूज इट लेट दिस इज द डिस्क्रिप्टिव स्टैटिस्टिक्स वी ऑप्टेन यू कैन ड्रॉ ग्राफ्स एंड यू कैन डू क्रॉस कैप you can find uh, rr plot qq plot for testing normality so there are ample amount of work which you can do with spss this was a brief glimpse of spss which i did with you all i hope uh, you all got the brief glimpse of spss samajh mein aaya ki nahi tell me SPSS कुछ हद तक समझ में आया कि नहीं आया ओके नाउ आई एम मूविंग बैक टू एस पी एस एस आई एल ओपन एस पी एस एस फाइल एंड आई कैन शो यू SPSS file takes lot of time. And presently the net is a bit slow. So it is taking more time. Thank you. 
after showing the SPSS file, I'll move to Excel, how you can do some of the analysis in Excel. Can you see a uh, file? Can you see my window with IBM SPSS? Yes, ma'am. So this is the way I, IBM SPSS open. If I have to call a file, then I go to file, date, open data. Now, let me see. There is my data. Now you cannot see any Excel file. So you have to give the extension Excel here. You can see two files, isn't it? Now, when I'm opening this file, it is asking me which file you want. Suppose I have to do cluster panel. I'm opening this particular file. Now you can see data. You can see data. Yes, ma'am. Now you go to variable. See, here I have written students, here I have written Coke, Pepsi, Thumbs Up, Sprite, and Dew. These are the liking on, on a scale of 1 to 10 for 25 students. Go to variable view. You can change a student to mm. respondent. So, a variable name cannot be changed in the main. It can only be changed in variable view. It is numeric. You can change it into a numeric, comma, dot, scientific notation, date, dollar, custom currency, string, anything. Okay? Width is there. Decimal, if you want to introduce decimal, you can simply say it will introduce decimal. Here you say this is scale data. This is nominal data, ordinal data, anything you can define here. Now, once you have data with you, you can use C, analyze, case summary. This is the first thing we do. Suppose I am right, giving case summary. I don't want to display case. Simple statistics mean median, maxima, minima, range, variance, percentage of total, percentage of total n. Okay. Continue. Option may case summaries only. Now you see, it directly that you are doing working in a data file, you have two windows, one is for data and one is for output. So directly the output is generated in the output file. You have case processing summary and case summary. Case processing summary say that there are 25 observations and no missing. Case processing summary give us Mean is 6.22, median is 6. That means data is more or less normal. Minimum is 1, maximum is 10. So the variation is lot. Hence, you can see higher variation. Samaj me aya? Similarly, you can do frequencies if you want to tag, say, frequency. एक से दस तक फ्रीक्वेंसी है मीन क्वार्टाइल स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन मोड मीडिया 
बार बना देते हैं नाउ यू सी कोक में इट हैज गिवन द फ्रीक्वेंसी वन ऑप्शन वाला केवल एक बंदा था दस ऑप्शन वाले चार थे सात ऑप्शन वाले पांच थे सो यू कैन सी दैट मैक्सिमम वर ऑफ गिव द पॉइंट वर ट्वेंटी परसेंट वॉज द हाइएस्ट पॉइंट गिवेन इन कोक फॉर पेप्सी द हाइएस्ट पॉइंट गिवेन अगेन इज ट्वेंटी बट इन थम्स ऑफ द हाइएस्ट इज टेन इज गिवेन टू सिक्स That is twenty four percent. Like here, it is very low. Again, here it is low. This is the frequency. So it is Pepsi. You have two more, two people uh, twice. It has crossed five. For thumbs up, it has crossed six only once. For Sprite, it has crossed four. Twice and so on. तो आप इस तरह से इसमें एनालिसिस कर सकते हैं इफ यू हैव टू रन रिग्रेशन यू कैन डायरेक्टली गो टू रिग्रेशन लीनियर डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल सपोज हम ले ले रहे हैं रिस्पॉन्डेंट को डिपेंडेंट ले ले रहे हैं को कैन पेप्सी को इंडिपेंडेंट ले ले रहे हैं We have the result of regression analysis. R square have come out to be very poor because data is not good. So, इस तरह से SPSS work करता है. Now I am moving to Excel because in one class I have to show both the software and check for the queries which has been generated by you all. So quickly I am going to open Excel. आप लोग के पास लैपटॉप है yes, एक बार एक्सेल खोलो जरा जस्ट फॉर अ वेरी पर्टिकुलर रीजन आई एम आस्किंग यू ऑल टू ओपन एक्सेल दो आर हैविंग खोला एक्सेल एनी वन ऑफ यू हैव ओपन द एक्सेल एनी वन ऑफ यू हैव ओपन द एक्सेल 
Okay. Go to data. Can you see data analysis in your system? Can you see data analysis in your system? Aya beta, can you see? Hmm? Tell me yes or no. On pressing data, can you see data analysis? Yes, ma'am. Are you finding data analysis there? Yes. Good. Now, what this is the best feature of Excel. It gives you basic statistic and analysis. Like you go to data analysis. And the first and the foremost thing when you have data is you go for descriptive statistics. Okay. Now, as soon as you click descriptive statistics, you will find a window like this. Click this arrow. Take the data which you have to analyze. Suppose this is an export import data of a few years. Label in first row. In Excel, you can only label the first row. From second row, you have to enter the data. Summary, calc, confidence interval. Okay. Now you see in one go, the result has been generated. This is export. You can simply cut it and put it here. Import, you can cut and put it here. You can delete this file row. And now you can easily compare your data. See, you can see mean of export is less and mean of import is more. This is actually the case. We import less, we import more and we export less. A standard error is less in export and more in import. Median and mean have got lot of difference, meaning that the data is not normal. Mode cannot be calculated. A standard deviation Low in export, high in import. There is kurtosis. That is the curve is uh, platocartic, not platocartic, it is leptocartic. Skewness less than three means it is a skewed, positively skewed data. Range, high range is there because minimum is this, this and data is since independence, so variations are more. Now, Confidence interval is this. Now the same data, if you go back, now in same data, if you take more recent data, that is suppose from 2001, 
this and do the analysis then i think the indicators will be better now you don't have to label your first row and you have to select the data from 2001 say 12 tak now you see the behavior of data has changed now mean and median are very near that means data has become more or less normal and we can see 2 point something tha skewness aur ab 0.5 aa gaya hai 0.4 aa gaya yani data skewness zero uh, zero ho jayegi to data more or less normal ki taraf chala jayega standard error bhi kam ho gayi hai स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन भी कम हो गई है क्योंकि रेंज कम हो गई सो दिस इज द वे यू कैन डू सिंपल दिस अनदर थिंग विच यू कैन डू इन एक्सेल इज यू कैन फाइंड यू नो यू कैन डू को रिलेशन यू कैन फाइंड को रिलेशन सेम डेटा यू कैन यूज फॉर फाइंडिंग को रिलेशन एनालाइज correlation okay select data correlation has come out to be very high maybe because the movement of data as import is increasing so the export is increasing for that reason we have a very high correlation apart from correlation the other thing you can do is regression analysis all these things you can do you can make charts suppose i want to make chart you can see let me take some another data and i have to make a chart you go to insert here you have a chart suppose i want to draw a bar you can see your bar chart is ready isn't it yes ma'am yes ma'am so excel along with data analysis this data analysis you can do single factor anova two factor anova correlation covariance descriptive statistics then you can find f test t test histogram moving average random number generator rank and percentile regression sampling these are the test suppose i want to do t test so what i'll do this is the data go to data sorry go to data analysis t test for two sample mean take first sample then take second sample label i hypothesize mean difference may be 0.001 a very small value सी इतनी आसानी से हमें टी टेस्ट आ गया है सिंगल टेल टी टेस्ट की वैल्यू कैलकुलेट होके ये आई है और टू टेल की वैल्यू कैलकुलेट होके ये आई है पी स्टैटिस्टिक्स बता रहा है कि पॉइंट जीरो फाइव से ज्यादा है इसलिए डेटा 
सपोर्ट नहीं कर रहा है हाइपोथीसिस जो है वन टेल में भी रिजेक्ट हो रही है और टू टेल में भी रिजेक्ट हो रही है पर पी टेस्ट पी दोनों का ठीक नहीं आ रहा है ओके समझ में आया सो दिस इज दू कैन डू विथ सॉफ्टवेयर एनी क्वेरी फ्रॉम योर साइड प्लीज टेल मी मैम पी वैल्यू पी वैल्यू पॉइंट जीरो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव या पॉइंट एटलीस्ट पॉइंट जीरो फाइव से कम होनी चाहिए P value should always be less than point zero five. और ये तो बहुत ज़्यादा थी ना? That means the framed hypothesis is incorrect. Anything else you want to ask? No. Anyone else want to ask anything? Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.